All being thrown up in the middle to start the game. Saru and Dempsey. Keel for St Kilda, pushed in the back, and Keel will take the free kick. Peter Keel just behind the centre circle, in bright sunshine, a muddy ball already to half forward, knocked away from uh, Cunningham, off the shins of Hodgman. It spills out wide, Demetrio, and with him, Sharon number 51, Fury with Barker. And the ball goes out of play, down towards North Melbourne's half forward flank. Burns, number 11 in the background as Steve McCann goes up with Cowie. Dippin' by Schimmelbush downfield. Nicely picked up and left footed down by Hodgman. Up goes McDonald, second bite at it. Hand pass comes across and here's a chance for Phil Cracker. Turns and twists across to brother Jim. Caught. Hits it into open territory. Nicely taken by Melesso, by Cowie. Across it goes to Chiron. He boots it out to the half-forward flank and Burns is there. Burns steadies and sends it down towards the half-forward line. Crow's there. In comes a very strong run by Brown. Brown kicks it across and Keith Gregg intercepts. Gregg at centre-half back for North Melbourne. Straightens up. Oh, he was under pressure. A grubber kick along the ground. The hand pass out from uh, Kelly quickly finds Law to centre half forward, Jim Cracker. Goes long to the forward line, McDonald is there, he's got it. Donald McDonald, who lined up at full forward. And the chance for the first score of the match. And we've been playing about a minute and a half. And the Moravan ground has taken a bit of a hiding from the weather this week. A lot of wet patches around and some heavy mud, particularly in the middle. And McDonald on one of the firmer parts of the ground where he is. Distance about 35 metres. Hooks it badly. And kicks out of bounds on the full. Well, that's a shot from there. Here's Trevor Barker. Out wide. Oh, push out. Saru claiming the free, but Dempsey stands and takes the mark. Dempsey on half-forward flank. Long and high downfield. Melesso on McDonald. He chipped in beautifully and takes a splendidly timed mark. Wonderful judgment as Melesso was in great position to take the mark and coming with tremendous speed from behind at the top of the spring is McDonald for his second shot for goal in the first two minutes of the game, two and a half minutes. His first kick was a very bad one. This one, if he comes in close, will be about 30 metres. That looks a little better, looks a lot better. And that's North Melbourne's first goal. And Schimmelbush is the first man to congratulate Donald McDonald. Let's the players know he'll throw it up rather than bounce it. Dempsey beats Saru, knocked out by Terry Smith. It comes to Daryl Cunningham. Good kick to full forward. Dench at the back spoils. Comes to the front. Hurried snap for goal by Crow. Is a goal. Great kick by Max Crow. Absolute beautiful snap by Crow, who's at centre half forward. He's opponent Glenn Dinning, therefore. A wonderful left foot snap. Saru and Dempsey once again. Oh, Saru into Dempsey, but Dempsey withstood it well. In the air from uh, Cutter from Burns. Out wide it goes towards the half forward flank, and well played, Meehan. Meehan across toward Burns, caught. Down it comes, diving on it, Hodgman. Cunningham, that's Jeff Cunningham, fights for it. Nice strong football by Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush down towards Phil Cracker. Nicely trapped by Elphingston. Elphingston downfield, Dempsey underneath it, and takes his second mark. Well, Gary Dempsey looks like being a real stumbling block for St Kilda already. Kick up towards half forward, Barker goes the fly, knocks to the front, Phil Cracker. Beautifully to Demetrio. Has the ball out in front of him, kicks it away, McCann comes in, Cowie throws.
throws himself at it. And that will be a ball up. Good defensive play by Darrell Cowie. He showed a lot of courage. McCann, Smith, over the head of Burns, Saru, to Keel. Keel's on half back flank. Down to Crow at Glenn Dinning. Oh, great mark, Max Crow. Wonderful mark. Boots it high out to the flank. Darrell Cunningham and Greg. Great spoil by Greg. Good recovery. Here comes Demetrio. Loses it. Darrell Cunningham does it very well. Boots it to the pocket. And there's a chance out there for Abernethy. He's caught and dives on it. Jeff Saru with it. To cross to Meehan who drops it. Abernethy back in it and Terry Smith underneath it. And the umpire will bounce well played St Kilda. between half forward flank and the pocket for St Kilda. Dempsey over his opponent's shoulder and the free kick to Jeff Saru. Short pass, a short lead. Oh, in front was Fashini. Fashini spoiled by Dench. Play on. Bendinning the hand pass out to Ramsey. His kick towards centre wing for Phil Cracker. Under pressure from Elphinstone. Great little pass. Kelly. In the centre of the ground. Phil Kelly's kick to half forward flank for Jim Cracker. Almost a one handed a mace. Umpire's playing the free kick to Mace, being held by the arm by Jim Cracker. Mace kicks to Burns. Kelly up. Burns stays down and gets an unlucky bounce and it bounces out of bounds. Saru and Dempsey come in to contest at centre bow at uh, centre wing position. Well played, Demps. Law beats his opponent, Saru, strongly. Meehan. Meehan gets his kick, Glenn Dinney. And Law's the man who's going to be penalised. And the free kick will be paid downfield. And it'll go to Max Crow. Crow within kicking range is only about 45 metres out. He's kicked one magnificent left foot goal. Max Crow close to the man the mark. High, off direction, and through for one behind. Crow's had three possessions already on Glendinning. Kick in by Dench towards the outer side, looking for Demetrio. Too long for Glendinning. Oh, by Mark, Sharon. Dean Sharon. Towards centre half forward. Darrell Cunningham at the back. Keith Gregg was always going to take the mark. He certainly was. This immaculate player. Magnificent kick it is too. Cowie's got the leap to thump it down. Demetrio's underneath it. Good roving. He looks across his left foot. It's a bad kick. It's straight towards Cowie. Cowie's well bumped out this time by some strong Hodgman play. Taken away from Hodgman. Picked up by Trevor Barker. Barker from half-back boots them into attack. Law is underneath it. Good mark. Law at half-back. Up towards centre wing. Bad kick. Terry Smith on his chest. Richmond Premiership. Good beyond at Elphingston, who has the job on Phil Cracker. Towards Max Crow. Comes to the back. 51 is Sharon. Good dodging. A left foot kick is not good. Intercepted by Atkins. Over the top to Glenn Diddy. Around Keel. And a long kick to the forward line. McDonald is there. Pushes out his opponent. Free kick. Melissa. McDonald acts it out to the last second, indicating he's absolutely surprised that there's never any doubt. And the free kick will go to Peter Melesso. And a 15-metre penalty against McDonald as well, so it's a costly free kick. Melesso out wide. Underneath the Demetrio and Burns. Oh! Oh, he was unlucky not to be awarded that one. And the free kick is now to Demetrio. A lead by McCann at centre half forward. Too long for him, so his opponent Cowie takes an uncontested mark as Stephen McCann expresses his displeasure towards the centre. Phil Cracker, good mark. St Kilda fans didn't think so, but he had it well before Elkinston knocked it away. Cracker from the centre of the ground. McDonald leads towards the pocket. That's the direction of the kick. And Donald McDonald has got his third mark for the game. 
absolutely perfect kick from Cracker, Phil Cracker. McDonald been a lively and energetic full forward up to date. He's kicked one goal. One miss when he should have scored a goal. 50 metres, 45 to 50 metres out. Excellent kick, be very close. Right on boundary line, touch the post. One behind. Kilda have started the game well. Kick in by Malesso. Here's Burns. Oh, beautiful hand pass by Mace finds Elphinstone. His kick towards centre wing. Mayan, good mark. <laughs> Jeff Saru covering a lot of ground. Good run by Saru. He's at half forward already. Around Dempsey. Well played. Long kick to full forward. Crow! Max Crow's got it again right in front. Free kick. No, no, it's not. no, it's not. And at the moment, Max Crow is beating Ross Glendini. He has kicked and killed his only goal. The scores are level, 1-1 one, one apiece, and Max Crow to put the Saints in front at the 11-minute mark. And he's done it. Terrific run that by Saru. G mm. covered some ground from the halfback flank. He did for a big fellow. He covered ground. I think he's going to make Demp's run. And that's just a very good idea. Another Saru Dempsey clash with Dempsey standing in pretty close. Saru from the side. Dempsey, even Stephen, I guess. Keel battles for it. Runs into trouble. Good play, Schimmelbush. Out to Abernethy. Out wide it goes, and Elphinstone leads his opponent, Phil Cracker. Phil Cracker's got a chance to tackle him, which he does. Back to Mace it goes. Mace downfield. Abernethy, they crash into him. He almost took it. Terry Smith, a uh, wonderful tackle by Kelly, and it'll be thrown in. Crowd wanted a push in the back decision. Saru against Dempsey. Dempsey wins. Schimmelbush, waiting for the bounce. Good shepherding by Team Max, but then he kicks badly. Put under pressure by Greg Burns, and the St Kilda free kick to Robert Mace. There's been some bad kicking from North Melbourne. Mace kicks it downfield. Abernethy from behind, Elphingston above them. Behind is Phil Cracker, wheels out of trouble. Tries a short one across, looking there for Abernethy. Barker's with his opponent, Fury. Fury gets out of it very well to Atkins. Atkins across to Demetrio. Demetrio can have a long shot for goal, which he does, and makes it. He's put it through. Very intelligent kick. Well, that was Demetrio's fifth kick. And it was a real opportunist goal. He sighted it up and summed the situation up beautifully. Up by side bottom. Dempsey wins a big thump away, but takes the free kick as well. Having knocked at 30 metres. Dempsey from the blue pot in the middle. Oh, pops it very high in the air for McCann. Through Smith it goes. Machini, good kick to the forward line. Glenn Denning and Crow. Crow knocks on for Meehan. Back it comes to Glenn Denning. Crashes through Saru. Saru almost stops him. On to Law. To half forward and Mace marks on his chest. Right at centre half back is Robert Mace. Short pass is looking for Saru. Dempsey up with him. Good spoil. No, pushed him. Good decision up higher. Out to Terry Smith. Smith will go long. No, it's short. Good pass. Up. Nicely in front. An excellent mark taken by Brown. Beautiful kick, that one. And Glenn Brown is 45, 45 to 50 metres out. Straight one he wants. Won't quite make the distance. Glenn Dinning and Crow again. Crow! His extra height is really worried, Glenn Dinning. And it'll come as a shock to the superstar to find himself being outmarked. And Crow has outmarked him very clearly twice. And this time will come in for his third goal. 
and rams it through at the 15 minute mark. Well, Max Crow has practically kicked their scoreboard. He's kicked three goals. He has kicked three one. Max Crow on one of the superstars of the game, Ross Glendinning, and he's kicked 3-1, which is St Kilda's total score. Greg, Elgren not in possession, free kick to Keith Green. Lead by McCann at centre-half forward. Kick too long for McCann in the direction of Cracker. No problem there for a Cowie. Should have outmarked Jim Cracker too. Out towards centre wing, Burns out number two to one. Great spoil, but it comes to the front to Jeff Cunningham. Good hand pass to Faschini. You almost go for goal. Dropping short, Cowton. Good spoil. Oh, they spoil each other, the St Kilda players. Here's Darrell Cunningham. And the ball goes out in the forward pocket. It was very close. It was an excellent spoil. It'll be a battle here between Dempsey and Sir Saru. Saru's giving him everything and beats him that time. Atkins. Well played. Out to Law. Law then hugs the boundary line, looking for his captain. Brutally punched away by Elphinstone, out of bounds. Dempsey beats Saru. Down to Abernethy. Schimmelbush off his shins to Kelly. Or played Phil Kelly. Hotly pursued by Jeff Cunningham. Burns gets him, high tackle, free kick to Kelly. There's Kelly between centre wing and half forward feint. Steve McCann has not had a kick yet, down towards McDonald. Good leap, McDonald, but an excellent one by Melesso. Jim Cracker goes over the line with the ball, throw it, north in attack. St Kilda leading by a goal at this stage. 17 and a half minutes in. High tackle to McCann by Cowie. And Steve McCann will take the free kick. His first kick for the game. Must have hurt. And within scoring distance. We saw him kick beautifully in the match against Carlton a couple of weeks ago. That floats across the face of goal. Hasn't quite got the distance. Out of defence by Jelly. Oh, a chance for Sharon. A race for pace, Sharon and Demetrio. Well played, Andrew Demetrio. Sharon was holding him, was the umpire. Free kick to the North Melbourne player and a 15-metre penalty as they go for a rest. Mm. Exposed back of Sharon. That won't do his side any good at all. And Demetrio comes in for his sixth kick, which is a good first 17 minutes. Over McCann's head again. McDonald goes up and Cowie takes the mark. McDonald was shepherded. McDonald was very, very crudely shepherded by Melesso. And the free kick will rightly be paid to McDonald. And that was bad football because the chance was there for Cowie to mark it. McDonald, who's kicked 1-1 one, one, and had one very bad miss, has got the chance from only about... 20 or 30 to 35 metres out. It's not a good looking kick. It might have just squeezed through it, missed. Melesso puts it into play. Shocking kick. Oh, Mace just helps him out by taking a fine mark just inside the line. It looked like going out without being touched. Fourth kick to Robert Mace, the former Hawthorne player, to centre wing. Two St Kilda players flying. Elphinston, umpire said to play on. Up to Smith, who marks in front of Hawthorne. Leads are plenty for Terry Smith. It's pretty close to Law. Shocking kick. Phil Cracker. Back it goes to Law in the centre of the ground. 
Out come Melissa on McDonald again. Thumped out a big punch. Steve McCann follows on. Two to one against him. Good tackle. Should have been penalised. Booted out of danger downfield. Keith Gregg above his opponent, Darrell Cunningham. Recovers brilliantly. Played a lovely game on half back flank. And might have taken a free, but the umpire says no. It'll be thrown in. St Kilda lead by five points at the 20 and a half minute mark in the first quarter. Dempsey beats Saru. Demetrio close to the line. Great pace. To half forward, McCann on his chest. Oh, bobbles it. And then is tackled by Cowie when not in possession. Free kick, Steve McCann. McCann too far out to score. Kicks it high looking for McDonald. It's a straight McDonald, Malesso. Malesso beating pointless. Beating pointless that time and takes an excellent mark. Good kick by Malesso. Saru and Dempsey. At the back, Sharon. Darrell Cunningham leads Greg, but gets a bad bounce, and Greg sees the ball out. Well, he really has become a minder, Keith Greg, and he has beaten some of the best forwards in the game this season. And still getting kicks himself. Well, they watch Saru into Demps with vigour again. Dempsey won it. Sharon goes after it. Struggles, hit keeps it in play. Darrell Cunningham well played. Then left foot to high and long. Blendini. Oh, Fashini an immense leap. Crow comes in. Here comes Burns. Left foot snap. Three. Magnificent football. That was really strong stuff by Burns. Magnificent individual effort. Thrown up in the middle again by the umpire and Dempsey beating Saru. To Burns. Oh, beautifully plucked off the ground by Kelly. Kick smothered. Man's hand pass. Tapped out cleverly by Burns to Saru. High kick. Glendinning and Crow. Glendinning threw it out. Lucky to get away with it. Kelly. His kick towards the centre. Fury. Late spoil by Barker. The mark to Tony Fury. Well done, Fury. Short to Hodgman. Danger, but he'll take it. Keel tackles him, but Hodgman takes the mark. Back it goes to Demetrio. Kick number seven. And it's goal. No, oh, just missed. Yes, he got it. Goal number two. Well played, Demetrio. He's really done well on that wing position. Margin back to five points and kill the leading. Dempsey win, but straight to Burns. He's kicked a half forward, Glenn Dinning. It's not the sure Glenn Dinning that we've seen in the past. Cal Fury dives on it. And then grab when he didn't have the ball. And the free kick again to Fury. He's second in a minute. That was against Saru. Looking for Stephen McCann. Perfect pass, Fury. McCann, I think we'll go back and kick it long. He can't kick long. That's a good-looking kick. Melissa in front nicely. Bad luck from Jimmy Cracker. No, Melissa was pushed out against McDonald. Free kick to Melissa. Looking for Burns. Abernethy late on the scene. What a wonderful catch. Bruce Abernethy, who has an extraordinary ability to accelerate. Kicks now for goal. Fine-looking kick, but just off direction through for one behind. So, oh, Phil Cracker, an uncontested mark as Elphinstone slipped to the ground. Short pass, Schimmelbush at centre half forward. Very poor marking by St Kilda in defence. Schimmelbush right in front, 50 metres from goal, thinks he has a chance. So do I. Oh, dreadful kick. 
missed by 15 metres. Out of bounds on the full. There's Meehan, number 28. Long kick out, Dempsey Saru. Ooh, fine mark in front, I thought it was. Clever hands of Elphingston. Elphingston down to centre wing. In front, coming out looking for free kick, not a play available. Well played, ooh. Gee, that was heavy into Dempsey, and he speaks to Saru. Meanwhile, the kick by Hodgman, inside half forward. McDonald knocks it, comes down towards Jeff Cunningham. Good pass, Smith. Oh, unmarked is Burns. He kicked their last goal. It's close again. Counting right on the line. And is it a goal or not? I think it might be. Another goal to Burns. It was a real kick of authority, was Greg Burns, too. Saru, who's been giving everything he's got. Yeah, just ask Dempsey. <laughs> yes, Dempsey talked to him there. He said, what are you doing, you so-and-so? Here they come again. Well played, Dempsey. Played Burns again. Kelly, who's been a good player too. Burns back with it again. Law underneath it. Awkward one for him. Could have taken a free. Out towards the... Uh, Abernathy. Here comes the brilliant uh, dinner. In trouble. Beautiful pick up. Great hand pass to Greg. Greg cleverly across to Jim Cracker. Jim Cracker dodges Buter. Look out, Kelly. You're caught. Caught by Burns. What is the umpire doing? He called play on, changed his mind, and now he's going to bounce it. Too many of the players knew what was happening there. Dempsey getting his fist to the ball. Abernethy. Elphinston high, but Phil Crackett of Fury. Long kick by Fury, coming back. It's a goal. Good kick by Fury. on for St Kilda at the 26 minute mark of the second term Dempsey brilliant to Shimmelbush hit down further kick off the ground that time by Shimmelbush again chance for Elphingston very short but a bad hand pass to Kelly Kelly wrong footed McDonald he's shown great agility as McDonald that's the second time he's made up pace that's his fourth mark and he's made up pace twice on, Mal on Malesso uh, to get in front of him when he was from back position. And McDonald has kicked one, two. There's four points the difference with St Kilda in front as McDonald from point blank range puts it through and puts North Melbourne in front. That's McDonald's second goal. Eight minutes gone in the first quarter, and after St Kilda's good start, North lead for the first time. Out of the centre, Machini misses with his kick. Over Robert Smith, then pushed in the back by Jim Cracker, and the free kick to Terry Smith. North a 5-3, St Kilda 5-1. Short pass by Smith, badly directed, marked to Kim Hodgman. Hodgman now centre wing. Long down towards centre half forward, McDonald Malesso from behind, but in front base, and held it. Strong play. And at quarter time, 
North Goldman 5 3, Beaton St Kilda 5 1, 33 points to 31. Princeton at the start of the second turn with North Melbourne narrowly in front of St Kilda. Wonderful battle here in the centre of the ground. Here comes Keel. Keel's intercepted. Well played, Dempse. His kick is intercepted. Hits it off the ground. Law thumps it off the ground. Chance now for Fury. Barker dives at it. Wonderful football by Cracker. Out to Steve McCann. And McCann shoots for goal and hit the post. Well, it was Jim Cracker who got a lightning hand pass to McCann. Lasso kicks out. Well played by Kelly. Taken by Elphinstone. Up to centre wing. Gathered by Law. Kick well smothered. That was great stuff by uh, Jeff Cunningham. Burns gets it back to Cunningham. Cornered. Up to half forward. All North Melbourne. Spills to Abernethy. To centre half forward. Phil Cracker. Too high for him. Elphinstone at the back. Puts it out in front of Saru. Stop in the glue pot. Gathered by the big fella, onto Barker, who hasn't been in the play at all. High kick by Trevor Barker. Koshini's there with Ramsey. Sharon, who was beaten uh, by Demetrio in the first quarter. And here's a kick by Fury, close to the line, but marked by Ramsey. Ramsey on, well played Demetrio. Out to Schimmelbush, back to Demetrio. Demetrio, he's got a chance again down to Phil Cracker. Phil Cracker gets for Keith Gregg. Keith Gregg, the halfback, Frank will have a shot for goal. And misses that. That's not, <laughs> not like the Polish champion. Now, Jelly bringing the ball back into play for Saru, but Dempsey's beaten him and does again. Gary Dempsey in between the wing and half forward. Good kick by the big fella to full forward. Comes to the front, Mace number seven. Is grab when he didn't have the ball by McDonald and the free kick to Mace just as St Kilda were breaking from defence. They certainly were breaking from defence. It would have been open season for Cunningham, so they're a little unlucky then. Mace had been very strong on the back line, but a remarkable similarity to Robbie Muir in appearance. Mark up goes the punch. Out to Demetrio, kick number nine. Not a good one. Here comes the elusive cracker. Behind it goes. Mace loses it. Jimmy Cracker dives at it. Gets it. Short pass, as usual. Well done. Missed by Schimmelbush. Back to Jim Cracker. Across it goes to Atkins. Atkins kicks a goal. They are absolute dynamite, those Cracker brothers. Their hand passing has to be seen to be believed. who just got the lead before quarter time, lengthen it at the start of the second quarter. Dempsey wins, down to Schimmelbush to full forward. Good mark, Melesso. He showed more pace that time than McDonald. Peter Melesso cleared by the Swans this year. Up towards centre wing, Smith. Almost out marked by Abernethy. Barker coming up for nearly his first possession. Drives it long towards centre half forward. Dropping short of Dench, awkward one. It comes to Burns. He could have taken clean possession, but it's, uh, it comes fortunately back to, to Burns from Lockett. Long kick by Burns. Crows there again. All still in the field of play and taken over by Glenn Benny. <laughs> David Dench. Looking for Dempsey. Demetrio and Chiron beats him. Run short. Over the back it goes. Ramsey surprised to see it come. Picked up there by Greg. Greg is over Burns' head. Awkward mark for him. In comes Schimmelbush. Good tackle. Too high, says the umpire. Might have been a fraction high, but uh, pretty technical. And the free kick goes to Burns, who's been a really tough player and kicked two wonderful goals. Gets a lead by Brown. Another one by Lockett. Good long kick. Oh, great. 
absolutely killing Ross Glendini. And you could have had long odds about that before the game. Four marks to Max Pro, and he kicked their first three goals of the match in the first quarter. Coming up for number four at the five minute mark of the second term. So what an acquisition he's been since being cleared by Essendon. Max Crow only 25 metres out. It's come back and now for his fourth goal. the difference north in front fine match in the second term well played Saru this time Dempsey been a wonderful battler as he kneels on the back of Fashini and the umpire will throw the ball up again it's far too muddy to bounce it Shrew Saru wins another one Jim Cracker as usual out to law with a lovely hand pass chance for Kelly Kelly then kicks it downfield in front it's Olsen killed it through Cowie misses it very badly Burns a brilliant player in the centre sends it down towards the half forward line Law good mark get support from Cap dashing past long and high to half forward Atkins out number two to one Cowie takes the mark in front Cowie from half back or oh, not a good kick but luckily for Saru still well behind the centre circle also not a good kick. Straight onto Cowden's chest. Well, the ball is heavy. It's taken a lot of mud from the centre of the ground. Cowden's kick. Dempsey in front. Slaps to the back. Kelly, well done. Jim Cracker. Onto Atkins. No, he misses him. Schimmelbush. Back to Atkins. Goal coming up. Offline. Out of bounds on the full. Not a well-planned hand pass, that one. Atkins was always under pressure. Malesso. In the general direction. Oh, it's right on the boundary line was Elphinstone. Was he out of bounds? He wasn't. He was. Out of bounds on the full. And the free kick comes to Phil Cracker. Phil Cracker's kick beautifully in short passing. This is a good long one, too. Oh, McDonald all over his opponent with a foolish indiscriminate jump, and the free kick goes to Melissa. Crow near centre wing. Got a hand to it, comes to the back. Lane gets the free kick. Came on replacing me and late in the first quarter. Lane's kick, oh, wide open for St Kilda. Fashini marks at half forward. On he goes, Jeff Cunningham. To full forward. Brown, still a chance, 40 metres out, loses control of it, Cowton for North. Out, out to centre wing position, Burns in position once again, Abernethy felt Schimmelbush pursuing him, Burns cleverly to Barker, Barker goes downfield, centred long and in front, the chance is there for Terry Smith, and St Kilda are screaming down the ground at the moment, they're trailing by two points, at the eight minute mark in the second term and Smith is only about 30 metres from goal. Here comes the ex-Richmond player, kicks for goal, it swings across and through for one behind, so the difference is one point. North Melbourne, the form team of the competition, St Kilda on the bottom and they're really taking it up to uh, the star started North. Well gathered there, the hand pass comes out in front of Kelly, who's taken a long time to pick up. Lane beats him to it. Well played by Lane. Short pass, good football for Sheeny. He goes long. Max Crow's there. He's oh, almost again, Dench. Ball held to him, says the umpire. It will be a ball up at centre half ball. Yes, and Max Crow was feet above his opponent once again. He's looking absolutely ominous down there at centre half forward. Won't beat Dempsey in centre, Ben bounces. Fashini Lakeel loses it. Sitting on him was Ramsey. And it'll be another bounce. It's St Kilda in attack and trailing by one point. Dempsey standing very close. Ramsey, Brown, 
Um, Smith, I should say, lost it. Ramsey, under pressure. Kelly and Jeff Cunningham. Jeff Cunningham did it well. He's got two to one against him. Law pushes it down past Abernethy, looking for Glenn Dinning, who's been moved. Glenn Dinning got the centre half forward and takes the mark. And a 15 metre penalty against Cowie. Well, Glenn Dinning moved to the forward line last week and kicked four goals. Good kick to full forward. McDonald. Good spoil by Malesso. High tackle by Malesso. St Kilda players going absolutely berserk at the decision. And the free kick's going to Tony Fury. Fury, 40 metres from goal. Good kick. And it's a goal. St Kilda fans not happy. And North Melbourne go to a seven-point lead. I think I can understand that they have some reason to be unhappy, some kill the supporters there. Once again, the same old two, the two veterans, Saru into Dempsey with his feet. Good decision, umpire. And he kicks into Saru. They love that one. Kicked off by Darrell Cunningham. Max Crow, the danger man. Gets his kick under pressure. Downfield in front, there's Brown. Brown will shoot for an open goal. Kicks it high and kicks it long. Well done. An immediate reply. St Kilda trailing by one point again. the ground. Chance here for Lane at the back. Good mark. Greg's kick too long for John Law. Lane passes to full forward. Brown. Lock it. And the youngster kicks a goal just offline, but he levels the scores. Normally it's Dempsey he kicks to, but this time he thinks he'll try Abernethy. It's not far enough out. Up goes Cunningham, should have held it. Picked up by Lockett. Tries a short one. Well played, Tony Lockett. Down to Fashidi. Was absolutely brilliant. Fashidi shoots for goal and kicks it through. One behind. Well, that was beautiful play by Lockett. And Fashidi should have nailed that one. to himself and then a good kick out of defense Saru and Dempsey again and at the back Lockett 17 years of age well the free kick's been given away by Saru and it'll go to Dempsey well, Lockett who took a while to get into the game has been right in it in the last couple of minutes Dempsey downfield Glenn Dinney gets out of half forward a perfect mark out it goes to Kelly Kelly short to Phil Cracker steadies Left foot shoots for right. Jimmy. Well, they can find each other in the most miraculous fashion. I thought he was going to shoot for goal, and then looming up from the side came little Jim, takes a wonderful mark under pressure, and puts through a goal. Devitt, Devitt the Cracker Brothers again. lead again after Jim Cracker's goal the margin five points Dempsey once again knocks to the opposition Terry Smith good kick 
Chance at the back. Brown and Lockett. Brown 52. Uses his body well. Flips it back. High tackle on Brown. And he'll get the free kick in the forward pocket. Pretty difficult to score from there. St Kilda trail by five points. It's not a bad kick. Hooked it a bit. And a behind. 1-1 one, one to Glenn Brown. McCann gives a long lead to David Dench and out wide, too wide from Demetrio in front, almost took the date to free kick. He's on. Been a brilliant player as Demetrio. Sends a driving kick, not a good one. Cunningham in front. Glenn Denning, beautiful play, Glenn Denning. He'll have a long kick for goal. Shoots. McDonald. Glenn Denny at centre half forward, where we has moved at about the 10 minute, mark, 10 minute mark in the second term, broke away brilliantly with the heavy ball. I thought he'd make the distance, he didn't, but McDonald was in position to take a good tumbling mark. That's the good Irish name of Donald McDonald. He's kicked 2 2, and he could not miss this one. by 10 points. Saru wins this time. He knocks to the opposition as a new football is being used. Hodgman's high kick, knocked out of the air by Elphinstone. It comes to Burns from Keel, up towards half forward. Crow taps inboard, but in the path of Greg. Greg towards the outer side. Jeff Cunningham. He goes in short for Smith. Nudged out by Greg, but the mark paid to keep Greg. It's a good mark. Strong and safe. Lovely pass to the captain, Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush goes for the run. Centres are looking for Glendinning. And Glendinning takes the mark. This is the class of the gentleman. He's moved. And the moment he's gone to centre half forward, he's become a dominant influence in the game. He can make the distance. He's a long way out. He can make any distance, this fellow. Look at him. Nalesso takes the free from the goal line. Oh, good mark, Burns. Beat Abernethy. Kicked by Burns towards centre wing. Cunningham's there, Darrell. Keel. Hodgman. It's been pretty quiet, Hodgman. Elphinston, caught from behind by Abernethy and holding the ball, says the umpire. Gave him no time whatsoever. Free kick, Abernethy. I agree, didn't give him much time at all. Abernethy to Glendinning again, Glendinning in front. Almost took another good one. Strong play by St Kilda. Picked up by Phil Kelly. Sent it back and Phil Crackers underneath it. Rode him into the ground. Didn't really hurt him. And he had to keep on coming on. And there's a 15 metre penalty. And this will make it very, very close. And yet the angle is still acute. And Phil Cracker who amazes me with his skills. Comes in to shoot for goal. There he is, and uh, I guess Burns is about 15 metres from goal, so he'll kick from 25 and misses it. goes from the Lesso. A very wild leap by Cowie over Schimmelbush, but Schimmelbush must have been in 
infringing and the free kick will go to Cowie. Cowie now on half-back flank. Sent it long downfield looking for Max Crow. McCann in front of him well. In comes Phil Cracker. Out to Kelly. On it comes downfield. And here comes Kelly now with his left foot. Great, great kick to McDonald. A great kick. And McDonald, as I said earlier, has been very, very energetic and lively on the forward line. That's six marks. Excellent performance in today's conditions. He's kicked three goals, two. And he's only about 25 metres out, but uh, it's, again, that 45 to 50 degree angle, which is a bit difficult. That looked pretty straight to me, it was. Well done, Don McDonald. That's four goals, and that's a good performance. And I think he's been taken straight off. McDonald has just kicked his fourth goal. The runner, Mark Dawson, came to him. McDonald said, what? And McDonald's going straight off after kicking four goals. This might be the cable plan of a couple of weeks ago to put Holt on to see if he can run the full back around, but uh, McDonald's done well, hasn't he? So Donald McDonald, after kicking four goals, has been taken off. Holt comes on the ground for North. Out of the centre goes Fashini for St Kilda. Lockett and Cowden. Brown, number 52, cornered on the boundary line. The ball is out and a throw in. So Kilda are in attack. They're trailing 48 points to 65 of North Melbourne. Crow, Jim Cracker, out towards the boundary line. Lane, Lane downfield, David Dench, fine mark. His hands full with Brown. Brown's very quick. Bench, well done to McCann. McCann to centre half back. McCann going long, and it is long too. Over centre wing. Abernethy in front. Couldn't take the mark. Fashini under the pack. Free kick. Silvio Fashini. Towards centre half forward for Max Crow. He's with McCann. A lot of interference and the free kick to Steve McCann. Very, very, very good football, Stephen McCann. He's really put Crow out of business for a few moments anyhow. Trevor Barker doesn't take it. And a silly tackle by Fury gives the free kick to Barker. And a 15 metre penalty as well. Barker's kick to centre half forward. Good mark, Brown, who led out well in front of David Dench. And Glenn Brown is a long way out. He's kicked 1 1. He still might make the distance from 45 to 50 metres. Well, probably only 45. It's away to the left. Oh! Lockett. There's Ramsey. Burns and Abernethy. Saru and Dempsey, they're all the big timbers there. Saru won the battle, but the ball went over the line out of bounds. Dempsey wins again. Finding it hard to get North players, but he does this time. Schimmelbush, low to centre half forward. Phil Cracker! Knocks to the back, but interfered. St Kilda free kick to Elphinston. Elphinston at centre half back. Oh, they're pushing them out everywhere. Pushes, 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 and it's Terry Smith. Greg, a lovely leap, but misses what he should have taken. Play Brown. Left puts it for goal. It's off direction. Cowton jockeys beautifully. Lost it. Lockett hits it back into play, but hits it straight to North Melbourne's McCann. Off goes Keith Gregg downfield. He's on half-back flank. Goes for a further run. Down towards wing position. Brilliant football, Greg. Over it goes towards centre wing. Quickly on his uh, shimmel bush. Out to Dench. Dench is back. And the hand pass isn't good. Here comes Cunningham. Jeff Cunningham for St Kilda. Oh, luckily, onto the chest of Fashini. His long kick to centre-half forward. Awkward for McCann. Smith's in there. Gets the ball out in front. In goes 
Saru with elbows up. Free kick to Smith. Just forward of the wing. Short lead offered by Lockett. He goes long to Crow. Spoiled by Cowton. And the ball out of bounds in the forward pocket. Just ticking into time on in the second term in a top standard game as Dempsey and Crow and Dempsey won a beautiful to count and look out Jimmy Cracker at court. Well played Lockett, picked up by Law, out to Jim Cracker again. Halfback flank, bad luck for McCann, an awkward bounce, but nicely picked up and driven downfield by Dench. Great courage by Burns, lost it, and the chances there for St Kilda through Melesso. Melesso almost on the boundary line, back to Saru, back to Cunningham, back to Burns, look out Burns, strength! Did it brilliantly and pushed he was. Max Crow with the ball, left foot snap, and hooks it through. Wow. And Crow has kicked his fifth goal. And that's Burns in picture, who rightly is in picture. He was the man who did most of the hard work in a brilliant passage of play. Centre square infringement. It goes the way of North Melbourne, taken by Dempsey. To centre half forward with his kick, Glenn Dinning. Schimmelbush beautifully to Atkins. Should be a north goal. And Atkins over the top, misses. Well, Atkins had the chance to give that one to Holt. Out by Darrell Cowie. Underneath it, almost taken Elfie's. Recovers cleverly. Back it goes towards where Kelly and Cunningham go. And Kelly, an excellent mark in front of an excellent player. He's going to bounce it. He's going to bounce it. Disputed one. Cunningham, Cunningham walks away with a smile. <laughs> There's Kelly looks shocked. Ball hits the ground. Dempsey's free kick again. Saru doing a lot of bullocking, but not all fair. Dempsey's kick to half forward. Alesso in front. Glenn Dinning over the back. Play on, says the umpire. Alesso again. And now a baller. Well, there were two marks that could have been paid. That Glenn Dinning one must have been very, very close too. Saru and Dempsey having a bruising battle. Atkins tries to get it down. Barker loses it, recovers. Down he goes, out wide to Elphinston. Elphinston with his left foot tries to find a short pass to Lane. Over his head it goes, and Law's quite content to let it run out of bounds. Dempsey knocks Saru over. Umpire lets him get away with it. Kelly luckily finds Atkins. Over the top to Jim Cracker. Met by Burns. Play on, says the umpire. St Kilda's chance. 24 is Jelly. Keel grabbed when he didn't have it. And a free kick to Peter Keel. Well, some wonderful football. It's a fiercely contested game and some wonderful passages of play. Keel on half back flank. Looking for Max Crow. McCann pushed him. McCann stuck well against the brilliant Crow. Crow downfield, Terry Smith underneath it, behind it's Ramsey. Ramsey then hooks it back, looking for Jim Cracker. Walk had won for him, he trapped it, loses it. Back it comes to McCann. Long hand pass goes downfield, look out, Jim Bush back to Abernethy, and Abernethy trips and kicks it over the line. Gee, that was all started by Jim Cracker with just a beautiful little tap out. Dempsey wins again. Burns been a great player for the Saints. Back into the pack, gets the free kick. Greg Burns from half back. We played four and a half minutes of time on, and North lead by 11 points to centre half forward. Knocked to the back by Darrell Cunningham. Tap further afield. Greg under pressure. Grabbed by Fashini. Still Silvio Fashini. Cowton on all fours. Desperation football. Sharon, 35 metres out. Hooks for goal. Offline for a bye.
10 points the difference as Dench kicks out looking there. There's the siren as he's looking for Law. And at half time, North Melbourne 10 goals, 6. Our leading St Kilda 8-8, 66 points to 56. Start of the second half at Moorabbin and North Melbourne lead by 10 points. Down goes Saru in the mud. Umpire calls for the ball and will ball it up again and has stern words with Jeff Saru. He's used his body a lot against Gary Dempsey. Gets to the front and wins to Keel. You can't get boot to ball. It's going to be a free kick to Keel. Uh, held when not in possession. Keel in the centre of the ground. Dempsey again. Whoa, Hodgman took it and took it beautifully. His hand pass is not good. Someone clouded Hodgman after he hit it. After he punched it downfield, he takes a free kick. Well, Kim Hodgman's been reasonably quiet for the brilliant Hodgman. There's only his fifth kick. Look at Phil Cracker. Lovely leap, lovely mark. Whoops, down he goes. 15 metres against Hugh Cunningham. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Short, very short to Kelly. Kelly down towards centre half forward. Glendinning's there. Didn't make much of an effort that time. Shimmelbush. Hand passes to open territory. Here comes Mace. Never looked like it. Over the top went Glendinning. Nicely taken out there by Jelly. And Jelly finds Sharon. A half back flank. Over the top he goes to the best on ground. Greg Burns. He drives to centre half forward. Crow having a wrestle with McCann. Tapped inboard. Chance for the lane. Down he goes from McCann. High tackle. Saru didn't like it. The umpire's paid the free kick to Greg Lane. Lane it is. Dempsey in front again. No word, he's a wonderful player. He's taken everything that's really been thrown at him today from Saru, and he's still withstood it and beaten him, taken five marks. 15 metre penalty. Downfield he comes, out of a road match crow, he says, oh, Hodgman in trouble. Long hand pass. Gives a chance to Law. Law overruns it badly. Picked up by Keel. Chance for Atkins. Atkins in lots of trouble to Steve McCann. McCann half back long. And kick off the side of the boot close to the boundary line. Phil Cracker taps in board, but only for Elphinstone, his opponent. <coughs> Elphinstone's kicked down the ground. Too long for Burns. Chance for Lockett, who keeps it in for Burns. Atkins on half-back flank. Glenn Dinning's his target. Yeah, he's behind. You've got to get in front, even if you're as good as Ross Glenn Dinning. Well played there, Schimmelbush. Brilliant to Demetrio. Demetrio goes for the run. This is his 11th kick coming up as he kicks for goal and hit the post. His kicking for goal has been brilliant. Two good ones and that one very unlucky to hit the post. Short one out, in front Schimmelbush, good mark, in front of Terry Smith. Now Schimmelbush is um, 50 metres out, I guess, and with this heavy, sodden ball, it'll be pretty hard to kick it in these very wintry conditions. Short lead, and the lead by McDonald is ignored. Schimmelbush will shoot for goal. He made plenty of distance. My oh, gosh, it was close too, but just through for one behind. by Melesso towards the outer side. Elphinstone and Barker. And Barker takes a fine mark. Been a very quiet player. First mark for the day. Out to centre wing. Burns in front. Good mark. He's been their best. Greg Burns, short pass for Crow. Almost Elphinstone. Phil Cracker. Back he goes to Greg. Out to Atkins, who hooks it inboard. Hodgman. North running right now. Phil Cracker. Little left foot pop. Jimmy's down there. Oh, great gather. The bouncing ball. Inboard to McDonald. Donald oh, well played, St Kilda defence. Very well played, and Cowie's the man to take the free kick. Great tackle by Mace against Cracker. And then Cowie ditto. He kicks it downfield. Dempsey sixth mark. Barker crashes into him. 
and again I repeat, Gary, Gary Dempsey's taken a barrage of punishment but taken it very manfully. Mendinning. Mace throws himself at the ball and gets a, a free kick for a trip. From half back he goes with his pass, badly directed. Oh, just over the head of Hodgman, lucky. Here's Barker, inboard to Sharon. And Dean Sharon can go for a big run. He draws Greg. Gets around Keith Greg. Great football by the youngster, but he was put under pressure. But his kick's lucky for Keel. He shoots for goal. And is offline. McCann marks on the behind line. Was lucky. <clears throat> what a superb tackle by Greg. And wide it goes. Sharon and Kelly. Sharon wins it with a spectacular look. So that was over Demetrio. Here comes Saru. Been the tough man today. Downfield it goes. Crow and McCann. Oh, and above them both is Brown. Steve McCann looks appealingly at the umpire. A magnificent leap by Glenn Brown over the top of two big ones in Crow, who's been the dominant aerial player on the ground, and Stephen McCann, his new opponent. Glenn Dinney was shifted away from Crow. Such was Crow's dominance. He's kicked five goals. Brown kicks for goal. Wait for it. One behind. Well, that mark deserved the goal. North by 11 points at the six-minute mark in the third quarter. Brought in by Dench. Great kick. Over the head of Dempsey. And a fine mark by Saru. But he pushed out Dempsey and rules the umpire. Saru is actually hand passing it to the umpire then, and he's having plenty to say to him as he rolls past. Dempsey's kick is beautifully smothered by Smith, but it comes back to him. Now to Law, long kick to centre half forward. Cowie. No, it was Jelly actually. Glenn Dinning, robbed of the ball by Barker. The whistle's gone, it'll be a baller. And all the time, Saru and the umpire have been arguing, the other umpire behind the play. And Jeff Saru, you want to stay friends with those fellas in white because they've got all the power. Above Glenn Denning, look at Jim Cracker. Beautiful hand pass to Brother Phil. Cleverly crossed to Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush will kick a left foot goal. And again, Cracker Brothers United. Cracker Brothers Magic gets it out to Captain Schimmelbush, who left foot to goal. Saru charges at Dempsey, but Dempsey wins to Schimmelbush. High kick towards centre half forward. Glendinning is there. Oh, great spoil by Malesso. Phil Cracker. Glendinning. Trouble for Hodgman. He gets a high tackle, says the umpire, against Bashini, and the free kick goes to Hodgman, who holds his head. And the St Kilda fans thinking that some of these decisions going wrongfully against their team. And plenty to Smith's having plenty to say behind the play, and he's been kept away from the umpire by Mace. So I think there's an argument between Smith and Mace. Looks like a Meanwhile, Kim Hodgman for goal. 45 metres out, he hooks it, and kicks it behind. Saru gives a long lead, which is ignored. Out wide it goes. A great leap by Barker, but unsuccessful. Nicely picked up by Smith. Oh, they're going down behind two, and off goes Smith downfield. A long run it was. Steve McCann and Owen in front was almost Cunningham, but McCann was shepherded out by Crow. A very good decision. And McCann takes the free kick and kicks it on badly. Jeff Cunningham will take the mark. Off he goes. He's caught. Out it goes towards Burns, but not enough. Atkins has got it, and Atkins has sent a half back. Out towards the outer wing for Dempsey. He is 50 metres from Saru at this stage. Beats Barker's tackle. Big leap by Mace. And a fine mark over Cracker. 15 metres against Jim Cracker. Robert Mace. 
with a short kick out to center wing. Barker just inside the boundary line. Down the line he goes. Crow is there. In front, McCann. And an excellent job since he's been moved on to Crow. He's kept him quiet. Gets past him very cleverly. Gains a good 10 metres, kicks it 55 to 60. Glenn Dinning in front and was held by the arm. He held his opponent's arm. Melesso takes the free kick at Glenn Dinning having a bad day. Melesso downfield, McCann again. Punched away brilliantly by Crow. Here comes Brown. Got tons of pace out in front of Dench. Tackle. Caught by Ramsey. Down he goes and the umpire will bounce it. North by three goals. 11-9 to eight goals nine. St Kilda in attack. Crow wins, but it goes to Hodgman. Good kick to centre wing. Glendinning leads the race. Out number two to one. Spins away from Malesso. Up to centre half forward. Jim Cracker. Good mark. By G. This boy's got pace off the mark. Beautiful pass. No, it's too high for McDonald. Dropped by Cowie. Off the ground by Jelly. Finally off it. Alfred to the centre of the ground. Great leap there by Sharon. Here comes the brilliant dashing Burns. Glenn Dinning and Demetrio there to help him. Greg, Greg cleverly to Hodgman now on the centre. And to Atkins. Atkins downfield and McDonald. A long, wide lead. And the ball was perfectly placed for him. And Donald McDonald takes yet another mark. This is mark number seven. He's kicked four goals, two. So it's a pretty creditable performance. As he comes into kick, he's about 35 metres from goal. The angle about 50 degrees. The kick is across the face of goal and just gets through for one behind. He certainly doesn't kick with the accuracy one would hope for a full forward. Side, Elphinstone and Barker. That's the second time they've flown against each other. Actually, it was Melesso, and Melesso beat Barker. Favier coming on the ground as Daryl Cunningham goes off. Oh, a huge leap by Demetrio and takes a prime mark. Wrestled to the ground by Burns. And a 15 metre penalty for Andrew Demetrio. Short pass. Phil Cracker. Nobody with him. Sweeps the hand pass to Schillenbush. Couldn't control the bouncing ball. Still has a chance. 15 metres out. Shuffles it out. Glendinning caught. And now St Kilda in the van. Elphinstone. Down towards Jeff Cunningham. In comes Phil Cracker again. Da Jim Cracker. Dazzling skills. Kick is a bad one. Straight to Barker. And Barker can kick it down. He can go for as long as he likes at this stage. 40 metres. Dimitri will have to come forward and meet him. Out it goes to Sharon. Sharon's very quick too. He can run. Down it goes and Kelton misses what he should have taken. And St Kilda have the chance now. Here comes Fashidi. Fashidi loves to run. He will kick a goal from 20 metres out. Oh, doesn't he love it? the difference. Saru beats Dempsey, probably for the clearest time for the day. Keel kicks across the half-forward line. Chase on here. Jeff Cunningham coming from nowhere to beat Kelly. Gets into his back, and the free kick to Phil Kelly. Cunningham remonstrates with the umpire. I think it's a good decision by the umpire. Kelly downfield, looking for Dempsey. Dempsey brilliant in front. Taken by Keel, tackled by Atkins. Atkins took a strong one. Oh, a very strong one from Burns. He's a tough cussed as fellow as this Burns. And Atkins, shoulder hanging. He really felt that one. And it was very strong bump by Burns. Atkins in trouble. Barker the leaper. Oh, a fella, Jim Cracker. He goes for a run. Nobody to worry him. 
Whoops, Inada kicks it again to the cross to McDonald. And it was touched. Robert Mace. Robert Mace, it was. Smothered off the boot. Quick kick in. This is good football by Mace, who smothered off the boot and then gave the lead to take the mark from the kick in. Mace up short of centre wing to Sharon. It's going to be a 15 metre penalty against Jim Cracker, who got over the mark. Jimmy should have kicked the goal himself. All very well in hindsight. Mace's kick up the centre wing. Burns in front. Drags down a fine mark. St Kilda still well in this. They trail by only 13 points midway through the third quarter. And one of the reasons they're still in it is the player with the ball. Greg Burns, who's been a power of bustling strength in the centre of the ground. He kicks it out wide. Picked up there nicely by Sharon. Sharon tries a short one across to Lockett. And Lockett takes the mark. Lockett, who has picked it full forward, but no stage has been there. Brown's been the full forward. Kicks in Brown's direction. Up they go, and Crow was the leaper. Nicely picked up, but lost by Brown. He, and overrunning it was um, St Kilda again. Favio with it. Out to Saru. Too long for him. Lockett's got it. Tackled. Saru on the ground goes down from Kelton and takes a free kick. Well, Saru's been arguing with the umpires all day been fighting, struggling, pushing and uh, everything else to Dempsey. Free kick, tries a short pass, it's danger. Oh, Brown missed it. Dench hits it out. Fashini goes with too much pace for Dench. Turns and twists. Looks for Keel. Good pass. Keel short passes to Saru. Well, Saru had the ball there 30 seconds ago and had to pass. He won't make the distance, I don't think, from there. Just forward of the white line. 14 points the difference. North 77, St Kilda 63. There's the pass. Keith Gregg. Ball. And that will be a ball up. If St Kilda can get it out of here and kick a goal, we really have a game of football. Yes. St Kilda fans delighted with the team against the champion North Melbourne side. Well played, Sir Ruben. Straight to Greg. Greg downfield, and Schimmelbush goes racing towards it. And Jeff Cunningham will be his contestant. And good tackle. A good tackle. It looked a trifle high, but it was a desperate tackle. And Cunningham takes a free kick. And what a strong, aggressive player he is. Bad kick. Very bad kick. Dench is with the ball. Dench a long hand pass out to Phil Cracker. And Cracker breaks from centre half back. Over the top to Phil Kelly. North getting out, the players out in the clear. Long kick by Kelly to Holt, but over his head. Stays in play. Holt with Barker. Well played by Trevor Barker. He got underneath him and forced a ball up. The crowd thought he might have got a free kick for a push. Anyway, it was wide open for North if Holt could have bro broken away. Yes, it certainly was. And Barker could have got a free kick for that one too, I feel. There's Burns. Look at this strong man. Bang. He fights for it again and gets it out to Keel. Keel to Mace is brilliant. Mace downfield underneath at Elphinston. Punched away by Schimmelbush. Oh, 19 minutes gone in the third quarter. And North Melbourne lead by only 14 points. Jelly number 24. Loses it to Law. Just gets his kick in. Lucky for Hodgman. Beautiful hand pass to Phil Cracker, but he puts him under the hammer, and Barker gets him. There's no free kick, he held it to him, and Trevor Barker says, what about that for a free kick? Well, the umpire was very close, so maybe he had a better sighting, but Favia breaks away well. Sent it long, Keith Gregg direction. Oh, almost taken that time. Nicely picked up by Lockett. Bench, strong, missed it for Sheedy. Tackle by McCann. Ramsey comes in too. Machini won't give up. Kicks across the face of goal. And it's still St Kilda's opportunity through Brown. Caught. By tackle, he said. Free kick to St Kilda. Well, couldn't see it. Glenn Brown right on the boundary line in the forward pocket. St Kilda really throwing everything at North at the moment, but can't get scores on the board. Brown around the mark. Great kick. Second goal to Glenn Brown.
18 minutes into the second term, and there's only eight points the difference, and a very, very gallant St Kilda struggling with North Melbourne. Dempsey been a great player, punched away by Saru, diving out of his locket, hits it back to Saru, taken on there by Kelton. Kelton clever to Demetrio. Demetrio left foot down, past Glenn Dinning in front of his base. Been a very good player. Hodgman tackles him, Keels with the ball, out to Burns. Burns twists out of trouble and sends it downfield looking for Smith. Greg thumps it away from him. It's Smith recovers best. Smith about centre wing. Boots it downfield. Coming towards it, and bad luck, Crow. Demetrio is beaten this time by Sharon. Sharon then kicks it high in the air and taken by Jim Cracker. Be on to Keith Green. Now to count. Demetrio, chain of hand passes. Phil Cracker. That's about six hand passes in a row. Holden, bad bounce. Comes back to him. Finally a kick inside half forward. Glenn Dinning. St Kilda, the tackler Jeff Cunningham, quickly with the hand pass. Out he goes to Jelly. Jelly's kick to centre wing, Fabia. Fabia right on centre wing position in the pale sunshine. Out comes David Dench. Oh, and in front of him went Kelton and takes the mark. Kelton off. Nearly caught. Boots it down to centre wing. It's all against Demetrio. Seemed to lose the ball in the sun, taken by Chiron. Centres the ball, bad kick. Straight to Jim Cracker. Be about the worst luck to give it to. He goes out wide for brother Phil. On centre wing. Right foot kick. He's not too bad on the right either. It's a beautiful pass to Schimmelbusch, who marks at half ball. Perfect passing. Schimmelbusch too far out to score. Kicks it high in the McDonald direction. McDonald's got the chance. He's too late on the scene. It's claimed there by Tony Fury. Was silly. That should be 15 metres against you, Cowie. And it is. And it'll make a certain goal for Tony Fury. Fury, who kicked two goals, one in the first term and one in the second, then was taken off. Comes on now, kicks for goal. Not a good looking kick, but it notches a major. That's his third. Dempsey wins, intercepted by Fabia. Jim Cracker, just about North's best player. Up towards half forward flank, looking for Phil. Comes to the back to Hodgman. Hodgman goes long. Nobody there for North. Just bounces in, and we'll have a throw in in the right forward pocket. This McDonald comes out to contest while Dempsey lurks around the centre of the ground. Cowie's his opponent. Cowie beat him. Oh, down they go, tumbling over the top of each other. Somewhere there's a ball there. It's thrown by Favia back to the umpire for yet another bounce. 23 minutes gone in the third quarter. North by 14 points. Strong play by Alesso. Just inside the line, Mace. Been a lot of solid body work throughout the game. Jeff Cunningham says, how about that for an elbow, umpire? No free kick. Comes to the back of the pack. Glenn Dinning goes without the ball. Helfrin not in possession, says the umpire. Free kick to Ross Glenn Dinning. And Jeff Saru is giving that umpire heaps. His name is Sidebottom. Saru's very lucky not to be reported. kicks and he hooks it out of bounds and whilst he's kicking Saru walks back to the centre screaming at Dempsey Dempsey must have had a few words to say downfield it goes Gary Dempsey got the chance stands like the rock of Gibraltar his eighth mark 
Back it goes to full forward zone. McDonald, a good leap, punched away from him. In front, Hodgman loses it. Down he goes, and there it is again. That ugly milling pack diving on top of the ball, and he picks a free kick out for St Kilda. Here's the route. Kick almost along the ground. Well gathered on the bounce by Sharon. He has support inside from Smith. He finesses, gets around Demetrio. He's come back at Demetrio well in the second half. Cunningham. Uh, Burns, rather. Bouncing ball for Carton at half-back. He goes without it. Be a free kick to Gary Carton for high tackle. Carton has against Smith. Phil Cracker again. Cleverly down towards his captain, Shibblebush. Awkward bounce. Look out, Shibber. Breaks the tackle of, of Lane. Steadies. Can't find anybody to kick to. Awkward bounce. And it's Shibblebush who hit, hits it downfield. That was Kelly kicked it. Shibblebush fights on. It's Jim Cracker underneath it all. In lightning stuff to Molesso, and he goes through strongly. Straight down the ground. Too high for Keith Gregg. In the centre to Terry Smith. St Kilda look good now. Smith's kick is partly blocked by Cout. It bounces all right. Oh, they muck each other up there. Burns. What is it to be? A free kick to Greg Burns. He goes for the pass. A lead by Crow. Can't quite get there. All north. Kelly throws it away. Tackled by Cunningham. Dunbar says help when not in possession. Yes, well, he was certainly tackled when not in possession. Whether he disposed of the ball properly is the other question. It's Phil Kelly, who's been a pretty good player for North. It's his 14th kick, and well played for Lesso, beating Glenn Dinning, who's having a jogger. Down it goes in front is Cowton. Lock it above him. Greg, tackle, Burns takes him on. Cowton's got the chance. He's almost to set the ground and boots it downfield looking for Phil Cracker. What a splendid mark. There's a Jim Cracker. Splendid mark. He's played a top game, Jim Cracker. Short pass, Hodgman. Kim Hodgman right in front and about 35 to 40 metres from goal. Well, St Kilda really fought brilliantly in this third quarter to get within eight points. And then North kicked the last goal with the aid of a 15-metre penalty. And another by Hodgman would appear to just about bury St Kilda. 27 minutes into the third quarter. Hodgman's kick is good. Kim Hodgman's first goal. He's got 1-1. One, one. It's 20 points the difference as the angry man of today, Jeff Saru, comes in. Into Dempsey. They haven't been good pals. Saru throws the ball down. And at the three-quarter time, it's in Kilda 10. There's been spoken to again. He's looked for trouble all day, Saru. Done a lot of talking. Nine St Kilda, 69 points, and North Melbourne, 13, 11, 80. <laughs> 20 points the difference at the start of the final term. Top quality match, Dempsey being a star. Out towards McDonald now, it's had a half forward. Terry Smith boots it downfield. McCann goes above the dangerous crow, picked up by Law. Law out wide, halts the chance and takes the mark. John Holt out near centre wing. Good kick inside at centre half forward. And Denning very high at the front. Holden onto Schimmelbush. A north goal coming up. He misses. Gets it behind. Poor kick of uh, Wayne Schimmelbush that time. Lovely hand pass of Holden. Cowie kicks out wide. McDonald goes with Elphingston and a good spoil as Elphingston's been a dangerous player. A very safe mark. It's over the line, out of bounds. Actually, that was Molesso he went with, who's been a very good player. In come the big fellows. Saru strongly over the top and then falls on top of it. Pulled out by McDonald. In he goes again. <laughs> if ever there's a man who's shown some aggression today, it's Jeffrey Saru. Fury. 
Jim Cracker. Oh, great pace to get away. Then gets leaked. Up passes play on. Now push from the back. Play on again. Lost the field a bit hardly done by there. Schimmelbush's kick is smothered. Scoop off the ground by Fury was beautiful. Cross out in front of goals and uh, uncontested Terry Smith. He's had plenty of kicks to Smith. Kicks it out wide towards Favia. Favia then kicks downfield, well directed to, to Cunningham. That's uh, Darrell Cunningham. Out to Keel, his clever football. Keel's got a run downfield. He could have bounced it once and made it easier. He kicks it long and kicks it off direction through from one behind. Athletes and Kilda by only 20 points into the last quarter. Good effort by the Saints. Law beaten to it by Terry Smith. He's a gutsy performer, the former Richmond player. Good pass to Keel, hits him on the chest. So Kilda still well in this. Oh, Jeff Cunningham in heaps of trouble. Well played by Burns. Left foot pass. Brown comes to the back. All north. McCann. Eventually, Dench out of trouble. Looking for Holden, who's in the centre of the ground against Burns now. Holden gets around Burns cleverly. Centre downfield, look out, it's going towards Parker. Oh, a lovely loop. Lovely loop by Parker. After a quiet start, he's played a very serviceable game on the halfback flank. Boots it out wide. Nice leap there, taken there by Demetrio, been a good player all day. Good lead by Phil Cracker. Great hand pass by him. The Crackers have had about uh, 25 hand passes between them. Holt. Ball was out before he got rid of it, and there'll be a boundary throwing. G. Favia's played a pretty tough when he's come on, too. St Kilda really taking the battle up to the North Melbourne side. Here comes Phil Cracker. Wonderful pace. Steadies. Down it goes towards Glendinning. One hand up. His opponent's back a bit, but a beautiful one-hander with the typical Glendinning skill. He really intended to take that one hand, I felt, uh, and he's got such massive talent, he can do those sort of things. But he's had a very bad day. He comes in, kicks the goal, and put it straight through. That makes it a pretty impressive lead at the four and a half minute mark for North Melbourne. Signal to Jim Cracker, he tapped behind him. Didn't reach Cracker, comes to Keel. Up towards half forward flank, Max Crow, good lead. 15 metres against McCann, which will bring Max Crow within kicking distance. He's already kicked five goals. If he can notch another one, that brings the margin again back to 20 points and would give St Kilda still some sniff of a chance. Kicked it to his father in the crowd. Well, Crow was kickless in the third term, and uh, he had a brilliant first half. Ramsey downfield, Max Crow. Coming back into the game, he's always been a mercurial player. A wonderful talent. This is mark number six. And let's see if he can redeem that last appalling kick. This is a good one. It's a good one. Made it. Oh, it's one. Wonderful performance. He kicked two in the first 11 minutes, three in the first 15 minutes, and now that's goal number six at the five minute mark in the last quarter. North lead cut back to 20 points. Dempsey wins in the middle, but Burns gets it for St Kilda. Little short kick out, knocked out by McDonald. Chance for Jeff Cunningham. He goes to Lane, wide open for St Kilda. Oh, beautiful ball by Lane. He's going all the way. Second goal for St Kilda in a minute. 14 points the difference.
Well, everybody on the ground thought he was going to give it to Fashini, and so did I. So did Gary Cowton, what's worse. <laughs> and Cowton was the man he got around so easily. Brilliant. Saru won this one and won it very well too. It's kicked downfield there by Fashini. Here's a chance for Kelton to redeem. Sends it down towards the centre of the ground. Underneath it, gallant mark by Sharon. Full of courage, that one. Sharon in centre wing position. Looking for the winning Burns. Over the back goes McCann. Down goes Crow. Crow looking at the umpire and Burns is in trouble. And that would be a tough blow for St Kilda, but he's that tough, it'll take a lot to be trouble for him. Dempsey wins to Jim Cracker. Bouncing ball on centre wing. McDonald knocked away by Cowie. Oh, Cowie crudely gets into the back of Demetrio, and Demetrio's coming back at him, I'm afraid. No, goes on, plays the ball. Phil Cracker, long kick to full forward. Vendening. Oh, good spoil, Melesso. But here's a chance for Fury. 30 metres out. Back to Kelly. Snap for goal. And he's put it through. Kelly, 15 kicks against Cunningham. He's been a very good player. Four minutes into the final term, and still the difference 20 points in favour of North Melbourne. Saru won this one beautifully. Here comes McCann. Wonderful pickup. Out wide it goes. Underneath it is Cowie. Nobody really made it hard for him. A couple of times McDonald hasn't made it as hard for him as he should have, and Cowie takes the free. Out to the wing for Terry Smith. Good mark. Crow leads at half forward. Smith goes long with his kick. Chance for Brown. Comes to the back. Kill with Greg. Cool be played by Keith Gregg. Beautiful football. Oh, but it comes to Jeff Cunningham. 60 metres from goal. Hasn't got the distance. Fashini at the back. Dench knocks it away. Free kick to North. In the back of Demetrio with Brown. North supporters heave a grateful sigh. Very good spoil that time by David Dench, incidentally. Demetrio out to Dench. Here comes dashing David. Short passes. Well done to McDonald. Cowie all over him. McDonald back to Dench. Dench cleverly across to Jimmy Cracker. This will be danger. Cracker then has a long one looking for Glenn Dinning. Glenn Dinning and beautiful play for Lesso again. And strong play coming across there. And it's over the line from Jello. And Lesso being a very impressive player. Lesso lights of St Kilda. <laughs> Keel ducks his head. Barker in trouble still. Jim Cracker tackles. Pushed in the back was Barker, rules the umpire, free kick to the St Kilda skipper. Barker short to Terry Smith, and Terry Smith getting lots of kicks. Then boots it down towards centre wing, looking for Crow. McCann's played well against Crow. Almost took a good one. Play on to the umpire. Burns is, breaks a strong tackle. My word, he's strong. Beats Holden pointless. His kick is smothered a little. Ramsey gets an awkward bounce. Follows it on. Here's a chance for Law. Law runs it. Schimmelbush. Schimmelbush sends it long. Glendinning a two to one against him, but Lesso beautifully in front. Jim Cracker goes down. Over the top is Jelly. They're both appealing for it. And umpire will bounce. No, it's Jim Cracker. I thought it would have been his. Right over the top, and Jeff Cunningham and Jeff Saru have done nothing but talk all day at the umpire. They've really been fierce in their comments to him. Now, Jimmy Cracker. Can he make the distance? It's about 45 to 50 metres in the almost traditional centre-half forward position. He's going to try and make the distance. He does make the distance. It's just on the line, Glenn Dinner. It fell short, and Melesso made one of his few mistakes, and Ross Glenn Dinning will now kick his own second goal, both in this turn. Oh, he's coming right round. Now, how could that happen? 
He got the goal nevertheless. Dempsey actually picked up there by Daryl Cunningham. He's forked to an awkward kick and goals. That was a brilliant kick. He was in a very awkward position. And there's David Dench at his opponent ground having fierce words. But what a magnificent goal by Daryl Cunningham. Cunningham just kicked the goal and has been taken off. Meehan back on. Still 20 points the difference. Dempsey wins out of the middle. Favia goes without it. Leaves it for Cowie though. High and long to half forward flank. Lane is there 15. Carton for North. Inboard he goes. Good play by Carton to Law. Up at centre wing. Ran a long way. Under pressure is Holden. Down he goes, holding the ball. It was a terrible hand pass by Law, but I think he knew he'd run too far. Jeff Cunningham kicks to Jeffrey Saru. Saru's almost in the centre of the ground as he kicks the ball. Doesn't get much distance. It's more height than anything. Greg punches down brilliantly. Stephen McCann being a brilliant player. Look out, Kelly. One he beats, two he beats. Out to Demetrio. Demetrio left foot pass to McDonald. McDonald marks. That looked better. McDonald out at centre half forward. Glendinning moved to full forward. And Glendinning with his hands full against Peter Malesso. Here they come to do battle again. Glendinning a great one handed again. The notchment and amazing skill of Ross Glendinning. He, he knew all the time that he could take that one hand. That's his third mark only. But what a beauty. Two of them being one handers. He's kicked two goals in this term. Two goals for the match. And that one is just off direction. Those three marks all in this quarter. Kick towards the outer side. Sharon goes down from Holden. Tripped. Free kick to Sharon. 21 points of the difference north in front. When you think they beat Carlton by 111, it's been a great performance by the Saints. Sharon's kick to centre wing. Burns in front. Spoiled by Demetrio. The ball out of play. Fifteen minute mark in the final term. It's 88 points in Kilda, North Melbourne 109. Here come the two grand old men contesting. Oh, good play lane, bad luck. Took the courage, Holden out to Dench, back to Holden. Holden downfield. McDonald in front and does it nicely. Favier comes in strongly. He's well shepherded and bolts away. Left foot pass is a good one. Underneath it, Smith. Mark is paid. Terry Smith goes for a long one. Open goal. Kicks it. Goal. Just missed. Oh, he drove. Bad luck, Terry Smith. Again, 20 points the difference. Dench. Oh, Burns. Oh, there was pushing out. Wasn't Burns' ball, I don't think. It's against Saru again to Dempsey. Burns has got his third opponent now. Demetrio's in the centre. 
in front of McDonald and bunches very nicely to get his arms well in front of his body. Good mark. McDonald down. Here comes Glendinning to go the big leap. Bracken does some shepherding. Picked up by Lane. Over the back. Oh, filled to Jim. Jim beats them all. Beats them all. Goes again. Kicks down towards Holt. Holt will mark. Matt will kick a goal. Well, there's the crack of magic again. It's in the realms of the unbelievable. Fans think it's unbelievable, they reckon Phil threw it. <laughs> had, had a little bit of suggestion, looked that way. <laughs> North by 26 points. 17 minutes into the last quarter. Hodgman up to half forward. Mace gets in front of Jim Cracker. Favier. Good courage. Jim Cracker, good pickup. Great hand pass to Schimmelbush. Floodgates opening, and Schimmer kicks it. Oh, it grazes the post. Wayne Schimmelbush has been very wasteful today with his opportunities. One three and one out of bounds. Cowie kicks out wide. Oh, nice mark, Jeff Cunningham. He's a great competitor as this one. Short pass is beautiful to Fashini. Fashini is the, in the centre of the ground. We'll get caught as he tries to dodge Hodgman. Max Crow, good position. Lane, lightning work out wide to Meehan. Meehan has a shot for goal and puts it very, very close. So close that it's through. As they struggle, Dentures complaining vociferously, but no free kick, and that's a fine goal from Simon Lee. David looks very angry. They've kicked four goals apiece in the last quarter to uh, retain status quo. Burns oh, loses it to Hodgman. Schimmelbush to Holden. Wide open for Holden, and he has missed. Cowie to Saru is the plan, and the plan works out. Saru. He's really tried his heart out today as Big Jeffrey. Kicked badly to Hodgman. Hodgman back to Saru. Now in front is Kelly. Kelly's been a very capable player in centre wing position. His 16th kick. Glendinning, your chance again. Matty takes it, I thought. No, not allowed. Jim Cracker underneath it as usual. Phil Cracker's there to assist. Over the back from Holden, taken by Favia. Back to Burns, who's been absolutely brilliant. He'll be picked up. Oh, Colt nearly caught him over the head of everybody except Greg. Greg on half-back flank with that wonderful flowing stride. Kicks it perfectly and it's taken in centre wing position by Holt. 20 minutes gone in the last quarter. North by 22 points. Holt's kick inside half forward. Glenn Dinning again. Off hands. Jim Cracker. Open goal. Shepherding behind play allows Jim Cracker to go all the way and seal the game for North Melbourne. That vigorous shepherding was by Wayne Schimmelbush. And James Cracker has got better and better as the game's progressed. Direction, slithering in the mud patch. Look at them. Just like blue, it's sticking to them. And uh, the first time we've seen really wintry conditions. Demps wins this one slightly, kicked off the ground by Hodgman. Phil Cracker, but misses his intended one. Oh, throw it out by Greg. Tackle on the shoulder, says the umpire. And Keith Gregg, who's played another majestic game, takes a free kick. Half forward, off the hands of Elphinstone, back to Mace. Bit of a lucky kick to Sharon. 
He drives it to centre half forward. Brown. Oh, Crow's there. Takes another mark. Max Crow, long way out. He's kicked six goals for the match. That was his seventh mark. Leans back on one. A beauty. Great goal. Century up for St Kilda, but I think it's a bit too late. They need four goals to win. Well, still contesting of these two giants. Dempsey won this one. Schimmelbush threw it. Ironic applause from the St Kilda stand. Hello, Phil, Phil, Phil Cracker and Faye here. Jim's there to assist. Glenn Dinney comes in and pulls Favre away. Tony Fury getting pulled around. Jeff Cunningham. Steely-eyed customers, Cunningham. There's a game of football on somewhere back here as the two umpires come back and Terry Smith is with the ball and will take the kick. Sixteenth kick to Terry Smith. Fine contributor for St Kilda. Fifteen metre penalty is virtually 30 against Schimmelbush. 22 points the difference. Good kick by Smith to full forward. Brown very high. Oh! What a capture. It's Cunningham, Daryl Cunningham, a fantastic mark. And right in front should capitalise and hits the post. Well, what a disappointment. If ever a mark deserved a goal, that was one. It was an absolute spectacular. Dench, the overworked Dempsey is the target as usual. Punched away brilliantly by Crow. Here comes the wonderful Greg. He slips, traps it. Absolutely perfect out to Ramsey. Ramsey then kicks downfield. Mace is in front. Can't hold it. Three to one against Hodgman. It bounces luckily for him. He then sends it downfield. Nobody at home except Fabia. Fabia takes the mark. Breaking from half back around McDonald. The kick to centre wing. McCann on his chest. St Kilda player down injured, being treated just near the scene. Monster kick by Steve McCann. Barker's there. Oh, out marked beautifully by Fury. It was an excellent mark. It wasn't his, and he came in beautifully from the side. Looks for Glenn Dinning. Glenn Dinning should take a free, I thought, then. Play on, says the umpire. Here comes Jim. Oopsie. A beautifully strong tackle. Oh, Jim Cracker. And in comes Fabia. And down they go on top. Cunningham pulls him out. leaving the field on a stretcher. The game has been tough all day, but the spiders only really started to come into it in the last quarter. And the notebook has been out for Jim Cracker, I, I feel. And Favia now is the other one who he's talking to. He's not taken his number. I guess he's the other part of the report. The one who's not written in the little book. And all the whistles blowing right, left and centre now as the umpire's struggling to gain, regain control of the match. Now looking for Crow, Steve McCann with him all the way. Elphinston. 
Goffinch and down to centre half forward. Nice punch. Chance for Dench. Great hand pass to Holden. On to Phil Cracker. Phil Cracker with the ball. Runs away. Will he get away? He does. He's very quick. And then sends it downfield. In front. Nicely done. Here's Glenn Dinning scouting briefly. Jim Cracker, the only one home. The only one home. And takes the mark. goal for North Melbourne will seal the match. It'd be a shame if he's blotted his copy book by going into the umpire's notebook. He played such a fine game, Jim Cracker. It was amazing when Fabia and Phil Cracker were having it to do behind the play, how quickly Jim got on the scene. Helps it on. Further by Holt. Chance for Schimmelbush. Met by Jelly. Played by Jeff Cunningham. And that is a ball up at centre half forward for North. They lead now by 27 points. And we're at the 27 minute mark of the last quarter. Cunningham has been an inspiration, really. Jeff Cunningham with his fierce, competitive style of football. And Jeff Saru has been fierce too. But Dempsey's beaten him there. Saru beat Dempsey. Picked up by Kelly. Kelly's kick is an awkward one, but Jim Pratt will mark it. What a brilliant little player this Jim Pratt is. What a brilliant pair the brothers are. Right down to the teeth of goal, and Cowie and Glendinning marks from behind and from the side. Absolutely immaculate skills. It's unfair, isn't it? He really oh. is. Just so massively talented. And he'll come in and kick his third goal for the match and third for the quarter. Well, he was thrashed at centre half back. It's pretty fair to say that for most of the time he's been on the forward line, he's been beaten. He's just broken away in the last quarter with some freak marks, four marks and three goals in the last quarter. I think they regret not leaving Melissa and Melissa on him, Drew. He uh, seems to have had more fun with Cowie, I think. Saru beats uh, Dempsey in the middle to Meehan. His kick to full forward. Brown and Dench. Dench almost the mark. Well played out to Greg. Phil Cracker. Cracker out looking for Demetrio. Demetrio marks. Demetrio a very impressive player. He moved into the centre for a while just a few moments ago on the Burns. He's coming in for kick number 16. He's kicked a couple of goals. Saru and Dempsey again. Oh, great leap from behind by Melissa. Melissa Burns thumps it, but straight to Law. Law's got time to give it to Holden. Holden could give it back. Look out to court, Holden. Does it well. Glendini. Oh, he almost held it. Barker got in his road, which was encouraged by Barker. Terry Smith downfield, and Burns takes the mark. Rick Burns from half back is decked behind play by Law. The ball bouncing around at centre wing. Demetrio. Controls that ball well. Elphinstone. Short pass to Saru. Trouble for you. Good mark, Jeff Saru. A one-hand. It's a beauty. If ever there's a case of eye on the ball, there was the perfect and classic illustration. Crow and Stephen McCann and Gary Dempsey got hands there first. Here comes Keel to Lane. Lane shoots. Doesn't make the distance. Missed there by Cunningham. He fights two to one against him as Darrell Cunningham. And there's David Dent saying, oh, pull that. Oops. Very unnecessary. But David looks cool for once. St Kilda in attack. They're going to be beaten by North, which is what everybody expected. But they've given them a real run for their money. That won't go through for a behind. And also get the still five goals and two the difference. Eh? Shows how good North are. And Dench comes in and kicks out looking for Law. Law's one of the tougher customers. Takes the mark from 
Strathbogie, in that little village. Boots it downfield. Kelly in front position. Fine. Uh, beaten. Holden. Holden downfield. Holt's chance. Awkward bounce. Trevor Barker gets it. Caught with a diving tackle. The tackle was a bad one, and Barker takes it. Barker's kick for Meehan. Good lead. Good mark. Time running out. 32 minutes gone in the last quarter. Good kick by Meehan to full forward. Cunningham again. Oh, he's got it once more. Darrell Cunningham. Two brilliant marks in the last quarter. Well, after the last one, he had a direct shot for goal from 20 metres out and hit the post. See what he can do this time. He's kicked 1-1 for the day. Looks good. No, just offline. Thirty-two minutes gone in the final term. Dench kicks out. Dempsey the target. Dempsey from behind this time. Hits it away from Saru. Waiting for it was Law, but it bounced to Kelton. Kelton then kicked it out of bounds on the fall, and the free kick will be taken by Jeff Cunningham. Nobody standing the mark. Driving kick by Cunningham. Crow. Crow on the ground now. It spills out. Dempsey throws himself at it. And that will be a ball up. A very tired Dempsey. Five win to North Melbourne. 20 goals, 15, 135. Defeating St Kilda, 15, 14, 104. Down there with a cowboy hat, it is. 